Well, first, I want to say this. These guys only talk about the LDBC to get views. Period. That's the only reason why they talk about the LDBC. They talk about the LDBC's content. They talk about the LDBC's opinions. They only do that to get views. Or they're jealous. Period. That's the only reason why they always have the LDBC in their mouth. Because they're jealous or they're doing it to get views. Okay. Now, again, all these crazy stories are coming out about Deontay Wilder being uh, poisoned. Okay. Now, here's the thing. You have a lot of things pointing in that direction. Even with the glove gate situation, there's a lot of evidence proving that Tyson Fury did cheat. And these so-called debunkers of that, these glove gate debunkers, they still act like they don't see what happened. They still don't want to acknowledge the fact that, yeah, Tyson Fury's glove was acting pretty weird in that ring. They still don't want to acknowledge the fact that we were able to see Tyson Fury's hand wraps at the bottom of his glove in that fight. Something that none of us has ever seen before. But the Glovegate debunkers or the Deontay Wilder haters will tell you that it's normal. They themselves know that that shit ain't normal. They know it ain't normal. They know that Tyson Fury's glove doing what it was doing isn't normal. But since Tyson Fury did these dudes a good service, they're going to tell you that it was normal. But if the shoes were not on the foot, oh man, they will lead the way in trying to get justice for Tyson Fury. I remember at one point they were pissed off at the fact that Deontay Wilder survived that seventh round against Luis Ortiz. They even tried to say that Wilder cheated against Luis Ortiz by so-called hitting him in the back of his head. So, you get where I'm going with this. If Deontay Wilder was a guy that was had, that had flappy gloves, that was throwing a towel over his uh, camera or unplugging the camera, these dudes would lead the way in trying to get justice for Tyson Fury. They don't fool anybody. This is pure hatred for Deontay Wilder. And that's why they want to try to silence everybody who's bringing up evidence that Tyson Fury did cheat. But they don't have evidence to prove that he didn't. But what they try to do is they try to make the individual who's speaking about it look bad. Try to disrespect the individual's character by saying you're, you're a fanboy, you're a crybaby because you can accept that Wilder lost. That's what they do. That's the tactic that they use. Tactic that they use. They don't have any evidence to prove that Tyson Fury didn't cheat, but they resort to doing other things, like talking about your your opinion, talking about your content, talking about you being a fan of Wilder, and then proceeding to disrespect Wilder. That's how they try to silence you. But now there's another um, another story that's out there, and. Um, this, have, this is something that had to do with Wilder being poisoned. Now, I don't know if Deontay Wilder was poisoned. I don't know. But a lot of people, they act like they don't know how to connect the dots. I mean, all of us as grown men, grown women, we should know how to connect the dots, meaning using our common sense. Deontay Wilder gave us, gave us an interview about so, a week or some change ago. His first interview after losing to Tyson Fury. And again, most of these debunkers only showed up to hear what about the suit that's what they showed up to hear about the suit so they could continue with the bullshit but they didn't get what they came for he didn't talk about the suit Deontay Wilder said that when he took off his mask he felt like a zombie that's one dot okay we are not accustomed to seeing Deontay Wilder gas out in the second round that's another dot Tyson Fury rejects a water bottle there's another dot. Connect them. So all you got to do is connect the dots. Okay? And they're not taking any of that in, in consideration. They're not. Now, I'm not saying Deontay Wilder was poison. But maybe we should take that in consideration. Tyson Fury is a known cheater. A known cheater. And you guys know that. Once a cheater, always a cheater. You guys know that. You guys should know that. That Tyson Fury is a cheater. You guys dismiss everything. All the evidence proving that he did cheat. Y'all dismissed all of it. 
Y'all dismissed even from him testing positive for uh, a banned substance against Klitschko. Y'all dismissed him using cocaine and 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 basically y'all changed the whole narrative about this whole fake mental illness. Y'all dismissed that. Y'all dismissed the wild boar shit. Y'all dismissed him getting caught in 2015 in the ring tampering with his gloves. Y'all dismissed the fact that he threw a towel over the damn camera in his locker room. Y'all dismissed that. Okay, y'all dismissed everything that was proving that he did cheat. Just because you hate Deontay Wilder. So why not taking this whole, uh, you know, him being poisoned into consideration? It may just be true. And here's the thing. If you guys do not like Deontay Wilder that much, if y'all hate the LDBC that much, if you don't like Deontay Wilder that much, why are you talking about him? You guys are getting interviews from guys who probably are just jealous of Deontay Wilder. But you won't get the interviews or regurgitate someone else speaking positive about Deontay Wilder. James Tony can come out and talk about Deontay Wilder in a negative fashion. And you guys will use that for your, to benefit your argument to prove that Deontay Wilder isn't what people claim him to be. But when George Foreman says something different, says something that shines light on Deontay Wilder's greatness, you guys get mad. You guys get mad and disrespect George Foreman. So we can see what's going on. I can see what's going on. All you guys are bottom feeders, basically. You don't have the ability to create your own content. You don't have the ability to, to have traffic passing through your uh, platform. So you guys use the hottest name in boxing right now. And you use the hottest fan base in boxing right now to get traffic passing through your, con your platform. And here's another thing. A lot of you guys spent years years trying to prove that Deontay Wilder isn't a hot topic, that Deontay Wilder isn't a star, that nobody supposedly knows Deontay Wilder. I spent years trying to prove all that bullshit. But Deontay Wilder is what grows your content. It's what grows your, your channel. All you guys have spent all that time trying to prove that Deontay Wilder isn't everything that his fan says he is. You guys are proven otherwise because you speak about him more than this fan does. Again, Deontay Wilder actually grows your damn channel. You guys can talk about other fighters, other things than Deontay Wilder, and you realize, hey, no one's looking at my videos. I'm not getting enough views. So what do you do? You either talk about the LDBC, or you talk about Deontay Wilder. So like I said, I don't know if Deontay Wilder was poisoned. I wasn't there. I still haven't heard it from Wilder. I haven't heard it from anybody else out other than his fans. But I'm not going to dismiss the fact there's a possibility because you we, because of who we're dealing with. We're dealing with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury rejected a water bottle, right? He rejected a water bottle for a reason. When does a professional athlete ever rejects a water bottle out of a, out of a, out of a bottle? Okay. Connect the dots, like I said. Again, I know what you guys are doing. I can see straight through all you guys that are so-called debunking the narrative. You guys are not debunking the narrative because you don't have evidence to prove that Tyson Fury didn't do these things. All you are doing is bringing your hatred to the situation. And since Deontay Wilder lost the fight, you guys are A-OK -okay with everything that possibly happened to Deontay Wilder. All right? And then another thing before I close this video out. Why does Deontay Wilder loss matters? Why does it matter? I'm, I'm talking to all you debunkers, your Jay Cottos, your Fig Newtons, all you guys, your 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 guys that, that spend hours hating on Wilder. Why does this loss matter to you? Why? Because most of you guys push this bullshit narrative about being undefeated doesn't mean anything. To take a loss doesn't mean your career is over. But all you guys are celebrating Deontay Wilder's loss like his career is actually over. 